I met Carol way back in the early 2000s and we were on the NVBR board together and that's how I got to know Carol. And we got started doing community involvement together. Great with us, with NVBR, she was wonderful on the board and uh, spent a lot of time helping realtors, but really her big focus has always been making a difference in people's lives. With Carol, uh, she gets so many things done and she's involved in so many other charities that you really don't know about them. She um, doesn't often, often mention all the things that she's involved with. But I, uh, we had an event to raise money for the uh, soldiers who've been lost in Iraq and Afghanistan and their families. The first one to show up with a check unsolicited was Carol. Carol, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on a de well-deserved honor. I can't believe all the number of hours that you've contributed, not just to the realtor organization, but to all the many various community activities. I know that you are a guardian ad litem, which is amazing. Um, and I know you ran the first soup kitchen for Sarah Holbrook. How great is that? All your work for Donald McDonald. I mean, I could go on and on. You are really to be highly honored, and this is, it's about time that we did that. Carol Hinson came to the court about, I don't know, 10 or 12 years ago, and out of thin air, a gift from the God. She volunteered to be a guardian ad litem. We'll call on her typically in a case and ask her to represent the interests of a minor child, for example. She'll go to their homes, she'll meet with the child privately, she'll meet with the parents, she'll meet with a guardian if a guardian's already been appointed, she'll meet with teachers, talk to therapists. She steps up and does what she believes is the right thing each and every time. And that is a courageous thing to do and not a lot of people could or would do it. To step up for no money and do this is its a, just a huge gift, not just to the court, but to the community in general and the families involved and the children. Right. She's ever cheerful, ever willing, brings tears to my eyes. She's an incredible person. I am happy to say that Carol Hinson, uh, who is being honored, has been involved with this organization for that, about that long, for almost 30 years. Not she not time. only has been involved in the Christmas Eve, coming here for providing a dinner for families with uh, that have been had to stay here during the holidays. She has been served on our board of directors. We did have some families that had uh, an illness called neuroblastoma and Carol got um, attached or involved with some of the families that were here with that illness and she would take them out on special trips and do some special things, some special outings with those children. It drew the family closer together and she, she was instrumental in, in helping them take their mind off their, their illness for a while. And whenever there is a need for us to have a volunteer I represent the Ronald McDonald House Charities, she has always come to that, come to our aid and done that. I it feel so blessed to call Carol Henson a friend and also a supporter of the Flynn. And as a supporter, she's been one of those stalwarts. But she's this quiet stalwart. She does things very quietly in this community. She donates, she's a contributor to the Flynn's activities. She also has a scholarship in honor of her mother who loved dance. The scholarship right now is supporting 24 kids able to study dance with Flynn Arts and that's a, a major, major gift. What's, what's nice about Carol is she has fun with all these things. There's joy in Carol. I just love Carol and I'm so glad she's getting this recognition in our community. I want to thank her for her work with MBBR, with all the fellow realtors, all the time she spent with all of us on the board, and also all the great work she does through the community. It's, it's just a great privilege for me to wish you all the best and to congratulate you again on this wonderful honor. I congratulate Carol and I congratulate the Realtors on picking such a worthy candidate. Hi. Congratulations for this award that you're about to receive. You richly deserve it, along with every other blessing that could possibly be bestowed upon you. I love you, Carol.